This is the first place that I've consulted with where everyone's like ready, has their stuff to talk about, they're excited, and they're like ready to go with whatever. I've been working with UCP for the past two years. They have some complex cases where they were trying to use skills-based treatment, but they weren't able to really discover what HRE, like happy, relaxed, and engaged, looked like for those cases. So I did a presentation for them on developing connected relationships, and it was pretty basic based on just my experience at that time. And we started just kind of working from that, um, really following the student's lead, trying to imitate them, trying to figure out whether or not the students were even noticing that adults were trying to interact with them, if they were maybe not even wanting the adults around. Uh, so really, and really being creative about how to discover different preferences and things like that. So for the talk today, we looked at a few cases that we worked on and just kind of went from baseline through to where the students are now and talked about the process that we ended up developing based off of those cases. So especially in our field, it just is interesting to me because we're a human services field, but we learn like nothing in graduate school about actually developing relationships. And often we're taught it's not even really necessary. Uh, so it's really focused on that piece, like how can we systematically connect with our learners, depending on, regardless of their age, like from, you know, really young learners, and then we had several adult examples, and how can we give space to see who they really are, and then let them see that we get them, and we acknowledge them, and build from there. So that would be your first step before you can even really get into what type of programming or interventions you wanna do around language, academics, behavior. It's If you don't understand your learner and you don't have a trusting relationship with them, where are you gonna go? So we went through the case examples and then some, I try to give as much as I do guidance of like, well, how can you do this as well? And like, what was our process? And he's, here's the steps that we followed. Uh, and we did some interaction with the group, you know, practicing and really coming up with their own ideas too. So I always like to have interactive, as you know. It was wonderful. The three people from Trade Ones that presented, Alicia, Valerie, and Elena, just all did such an amazing job. And it's one thing for me to sit up there and talk about, hey, you know, the, try these things. But to see the stories and be able to have those examples of, you know, this is what it looked like and like how people were interacting with this student and now like look at all these smiles and how much more actively engaged they are and how much more progress they're making. Yes, you have to slow down and really pause all the things we've been trained we're supposed to be working on to get this. But once you get this, you can start flying with all the stuff that hasn't been making progress because nobody took the time to really understand who this person was. We did make some tweaks a little bit with like the connected relationship piece. Again, they were already treating their staff like humans and really following the today's ABA, but just a few little things that we kind of added in terms of being a little bit more open and flexible with like students' preferences, even if we don't understand them. Like we can't decide what your preferences are. We can, we can join you and connect with you over it and then build from there. So that's one shift. And then the other one was looking at how much are you explaining and talking to people about things. And I think that's one thing that whether it's from ABA or just a school setting, I'm not really sure, but a lot of people are just really like, they have their SD do this, you know, add whatever, like they have their one instruction they give and that's it. There's not like just like this human talking like, hey man, we're gonna do some math right now, is that cool? Oh, I see you don't really like that. And having more of an interaction in that way that's more naturalistic. And they, again, already a lot of that was like there, we just enhanced it a bit. But the one thing that I always love is when, this is pretty much the only place, you know I consult with a lot of different places. Um, or have over the years. And this is the first place that I've consulted with where every time we have a meeting online, because I'm not here, everyone's like ready, has their stuff to talk about, they're excited and they're like ready to go with whatever. It's not, a lot of times I will have meetings with people and they're like, oh yeah, I forgot to do that thing, you know? Or it's like, I send notes and they're like, yeah, I just, I didn't read them yet, you know? And you can see like every single person here is just like on it. And they, they just take such good care of really following what advice they're receiving and like synthesizing all of that together. And I just, I love that. The um, thirst for knowledge and just the value of learning here is just huge.